Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd share with you some of my current beauty and lifestyle favorites since I haven't done monthly favorites for a couple months now. If you guys miss those, let me know and I can definitely bring them back, but I thought I would change things up and I focused more on my skincare routine since you guys enjoy those videos a lot. This video is going to focus more on the makeup products I've really been enjoying and as well some lifestyle favorites, fashion, things I've just been really liking. I have a really great announcement that hopefully will benefit those of you guys who enjoy skincare. If you remember a few months back, I reviewed a new skincare line called Shortlist and their skincare is really just that. It's a short list of active ingredients that are really effective and proven scientifically to work for your skin. They only have two products. They have a serum and a moisturizer. A few months back when I did do the video, a lot of the comments and feedback were that the products were too expensive. It's $94 per product. And for me, I think it's worth it because I am in my 30s. I think it's important to invest in quality ingredients in your skincare. For a limited time, Shortlist is lowering the price to $34 each. So you can try out the products at a much affordable cost. I'll have it linked in the description box. There's really no uh, uh, risk at all because if you don't like the products, money back guarantee. Not only did they listen to the feedback from you guys and lowered the prices for a limited time, but they also want to make sure you love the products and they offer money back guarantee so that you really have no risk in testing these out. So check them out, $34 a piece for a limited time, money back guarantee. Really excited that they were able to do that for you guys. And let's move into my other favorites. I've absolutely been loving the new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. I bought one last year which had the marble packaging and this year it's the rose gold packaging. So I really love how they are improving on the packaging and making it extra special for the holidays because I feel like this is always around the holidays that it launches. With Hourglass, you get really quality ingredients, cruelty free. It's a luxury brand and I love their powders. So this is also a great way for you to test out a bunch of their powder products in one go. You do save a little bit of money that way. I have truly just been using this every single day since I received it in the mail and Hourglass was kind enough to send this one to me. I was all ready to click shopping cart buy, but they also put my name on it. So that was really special. I brought this with me to New York and North Carolina. If you wanna learn more about my trip, you can see it over on my weekly vlogs here on this channel. I like using diffuse light for under my eyes and my cheekbones. I also use it on my eyes. And then I like using dim light to buff in any of the products on my face or to set my entire face. I also use it on my eyes. Then you've got this beautiful highlight, which is very natural, but still visible. And a bronzer that works really, really well. I use it all over my face to warm it up as well as in my crease to define my eyes. This is really a great palette and you can use it in so many different ways. The blushes I put on my eyes, I put it all over my face, I mix the two together or I use them separately. It's just a very versatile palette. Now that being said, if you're slightly darker than me, this might still work for you, but if you are tan, like truly tan or deep skin tones, this isn't necessarily the best palette for you. I feel like the bronzer might not work for anybody in the deeper skin tones. However, the blush and the highlight I think would still work for you if you have a deeper skin tone. And then the powders, the setting powders would work for any skin tone. So keep that in mind if you're shopping and you are darker. I love the rose gold packaging. I think they do a good job at keeping it as slim as possible. Like I mentioned, I did bring this with me through my travels in September, and I highly encourage you guys to check it out, swatch it when you're in stores, and maybe get it during the VIB sale. Let's talk about some brushes I have been loving. I truly give my brushes a huge amount of testing before I even talk about them. I'll mention like new brush launches, but for me to like be like, no, go out and buy them, I really have to love them. And that's because I know brushes can be expensive and an investment. Luckily, these brushes are actually quite affordable for what you're paying for. The first one is from Eco Tools, and this is the Stippling Brush. This has been my go-to like contour, I don't really contour, but my like face brush. I use it for cream bronzer and cream blush, and it is absolute perfection. If you like the Well People Contour Duo that I love and I'm obsessed with, or the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate one, which is Well People's a dupe for that, 
I think you'll really enjoy this brush. It's the perfect size to be precise, but big enough to cover space. And then also it just does a really nice job at applying the product and blending it out without messing up the product underneath that might be um, on your face already, like foundation or concealer. Eco Tools is also very eco-friendly and cruelty-free, so that's also a bonus, but love, love, love. Other Eco Tools brush I really enjoy is this dual-ended one that's Shade and Define. This is my favorite angled brush to smudge my eyeliner, to um, smudge my lower lash line. I think it's really good. It's just thick enough and stiff enough without being um, too rough or too flimsy. And then this is a really great brush for travel just because I use it to apply eyeshadow all over the lid. You can even use it to blend out your crease. And it's, again, a very affordable option. You can usually find these at your health food stores or online. Two of the powder blue brushes from Real Techniques that I absolutely adore and cannot live without is the B03. This is like a buffing brush, and I like to use this for powder foundation. I also like to use this with any of my ambient lighting powder pow setting powders from the Hourglass palette. I also like to use it if I feel that my blush or my bronzer is too choppy, I go in and kind of use this to buff out the products. My other favorite brush from the collection is the B04, and this reminds me a lot of the MAC 217 brush. It's got a little bit of a tapered end, and it's very fluffy. These brushes are beautiful because they're just densely pack enough and fluffy enough and soft enough to provide that blendability and also pick up powder and pick up products. This is just really good. They're based off of the Blue Squirrel hair, which is a very luxurious hair used in luxury makeup brushes. However, these are cruelty-free and synthetic, so they modeled it after that. If you're interested in the Real Techniques Powder Blue collection, the first two I would say check out are these two. I also do like their powder brush. I love all of it, but these are the highlights in terms of what I would recommend picking up first. If you watch any of my social medias or videos, you know that I've been loving the It Cosmetics Brow Power Powder. This is so good. I've kind of like dug the crudge out of it, crudge, I don't know what to say, crap out of it. It's a universal shade and it truly is universal because my friend Carla, who is blonde, uses it and I, who am clearly not blonde and very dark in hair, use it and it's the perfect taupey shade that you can build up. It is really easy to use, it's flawless, it lasts all day on me. I do set my brows with powder first and then I go in with this. So I like the brush that they sell this with. It's separately, but they do recommend this brush. It's the Universal Brow Transformer in number 21. It's the perfect brow brush, and I'm very picky with my brow brushes. I like the Anastasia one I bought in college and still use, because they're the Anastasia one that I bought later on is too soft, so I still use the one that's like super old, and then this one's really good. What I like about it is that it is universal. It's great if you aren't quite sure what brow shade you are, because I think it'll work on most people. It's very easy to use. Brow powders are my favorite when you're starting out with brows. It's also easy and fast. So if you don't have a lot of time to do your brows, this is gonna be a quick little um, brow filler thingy. And I do typically set it with the brow pomade from It Cosmetics, or you can use the Glossier Boy Brow or whatever you wanna use. So that does kinda lock everything in. And I've worked out with this on, I've traveled with this brow powder on, and I've been in really humid weather in New York with this on and sweat with it on and it just it it's not waterproof but it does last all day like I don't notice I'm selling missing brows mine's starting to chip and kind of like crackle a bit because I have been throwing it into my purse I've been throwing it into my travel bag so I think it is somewhat delicate so be aware of that but I love it so much I don't care I will keep using it it's just my favorite brow product right now my favorite lip color recently is from makeup forever it is their matte liquid lipstick and this is in 301 I was wearing this on my insta stories and I got so many questions about what shade my lipstick was and it's 301 it's one of their new shades I originally loved this formula and the go-to shade before was 901. That was like my perfect rosy everyday lip color. These are really long lasting. They don't crease or crack or do anything weird. They dry down very lightweight. They're comfortable to wear on the lips. They're not very drying. They do dry down matte and then they can kind of get drying halfway through my day but I just apply lip balm over it to kind of freshen everything up. I rarely have to reapply these and I do love that they 
launched a bunch of new colors, but 301 has been my go-to shade. It's a little bit more corally pink and gives my complexion more pop, but not anything that's like inappropriate for every single day. Um, not that anything's inappropriate. Do whatever makes you feel good about yourself, but this makes me feel good about myself without feeling like the mascara that I've been testing out and loving is from Stila. This is the Stila Huge Extreme Lash Mascara. I'm wearing it today. I've been really enjoying it. I actually think this mascara gets better with time. It starts to clump a little bit in a good way, and it really gives me lots of length and lots of volume. I can do like three coats without it looking like spider legs. So really been enjoying this one from Stila. I don't feel like a lot of people talk about this one, so if you're interested in it or if you've been looking at it, I recommend it. It's not waterproof. I don't like waterproof mascaras. This doesn't run on me though. I don't have any issues with it and it comes off pretty easily because it's not waterproof. I haven't been wearing a lot of foundation for the last month just because I haven't, but I have been really enjoying the Sulawasu Cushion Compact, and this is their Perfecting Cushion Intense. This is in the shade number 23, which is perfect for me, medium beige. I love it because it has my SPF 50, it has all of these amazing skincare benefits that help protect my skin from the everyday environmental stresses like smog, sun damage, and just a lot of like things that happen when you live in a city. I also like it because it gives me a light sheer coverage. It's very natural. The other day I picked out my um, It Cosmetic CC Plus Cream, which I used to love, but I started to feel like it was like a little heavy and I don't know if I applied too much or it wasn't blending well with some of my skincare I had underneath, but I've just been really loving my skin lately and I'm okay with having you guys see my freckles and a little bit of discoloration. I just want a sheer wash of color and this gives me that. You can build it up obviously. I did build this up when I was in New York and had meetings. I really enjoy this. It does come with the refill. Um, I feel like I've been using this so much that I'm actually noticing it running out like the cushions getting a little dried up. So I do have a refill and um, I'll let you guys know how long this actually lasts me when I use it every day. Glossier launched the Body Hero set and I picked this up myself when I visited the Glossier showroom in Soho in New York. So I was very excited to hear about this. Mainly I really love the campaign because it's real women, all shapes and sizes, all skin tones, loving their bodies. I have to say this is my absolute favorite product to use in the shower right now. This is the Body Hero Daily Oil Wash. It's a lovely oily concoction that suds up in the shower. I use it with my natural sponge and it makes my skin feel nice and hydrated and silky and soft. It softens my skin so well, but more importantly, this fragrance. This fragrance is like it's like fresh and clean and a little bit of like almond and oh, it's so good. The scent just makes me really happy and it's not overpowering. It's very light and it just like makes me happy throughout the day when I smell it on myself. I feel like my skin feels really nice and soft from using it. It's just a very lovely product that I absolutely am obsessed with right now. Going with that, this is the Body Hero Daily Perfecting Cream. This does have dimethicone, but I like using this during the day. I don't apply this right out of the shower at night because I feel like I'd rather use a body oil that doesn't have any silicones. But this I use during the day to rehydrate my skin when I wake up, especially since I've been traveling, my skin can be a little drier than normal. And it gives your skin this nice sheen and almost pearlescent glow, but it's not sticky, it doesn't feel heavy, and it's not one of those things where you put on and you can't put your jeans on, because that is an issue. That is like a problem with body creams. And so this absorbs really quickly into the skin and feels really nice and provides this like nice glow. It just makes you look better naked, like, and who doesn't want that? Plus the packaging's really fun and cutesy. Let's move into a couple fashion favorites. I'm gonna talk about my bra now. This is a very, like, like no line simple bra that I found at Madewell. I bought one in nude and I bought one in black. I'm actually wearing the nude one right now. I don't know if I've ever actually told you about this, but I don't really wear traditional bras anymore. I used to, and then I kind of just said, F it, I'm done, I'm sick of the underwires, I'm sick of like all these weird pinching and it doesn't feel comfortable. Plus they're expensive and my bra size 
like constantly is changing half a cup. I'm always in between sizes too and I just have a really tough time finding traditional style bras that have like the cups and the wires and all that stuff. I started wearing bralettes. You guys can probably tell because my bralettes are always showing. And most of my bralettes are from Victoria's Secrets. They're also way more affordable. You can usually find them for like $24 on sale, sometimes even less if you buy two at once. These though were a little bit more simple because the Victoria's Secret ones I buy are always very lacy and cutesy and have the like cross back. So these are just like traditional straps and super lightweight and just a triangle cup or not even a cup just fabric these are incredibly incredibly comfortable the fabric is really smooth and soft and it feels really lovely it feels like i'm not wearing anything but it gives me just a little bit of support it gives me a little modesty in case my nipples show you can still probably see the outline of my nipples depending on my shirt talked about it before everybody has nipples the entire population has nipples it's not that big of a deal so if those of you guys who have any of the same issues i had with bras like with the underwire pinching actually i have like a broken capillary or vessel or vein or something right on this side I believe from wearing strapless bras that were too uncomfortable or not fitted right well, I, they were fitted to me but they just restricted the blood flow of this area that I actually have an actual vein that is dead and you can see it and it's green and it's gross I also have some scars from bras that just were too tight and uncomfortable but again I got fitted like properly fitted and those were the bras that they told me to buy like at this point in my life I just don't care as long as it's comfortable so that's what I do um, and I hope that this inspires you guys in case you're uncomfortable to like maybe check out some other options out there you don't have to buy the same bras plus these are just I love these they're so comfortable they're so good I want to share with you guys these shoes that I purchased from the Nordstrom anniversary sale if you watch that Nordstrom anniversary haul you would have seen these I got them at the time for like 60 bucks these are like the best $60 I have ever spent I get so many compliments on these shoes they're from Nordstrom they're the BP collection so for their like younger uh, demographic I guess right now I just checked and they're about 70 some dollars so they're still under a hundred dollars but I'll link them in the description box because they're still available a lot of the stuff I bought during that sale is no longer available which kind of bums me out because I haven't even really started to wear everything I wear them all the time I throw them on with jeans and it just makes my outfit look more put together they're actually pretty comfortable because of the stacked heel and they're not super high they also have been wearing very very well I wear them a lot and you can see that you know they're not super worn out so the quality is pretty decent for the price as well. I want to share with you guys some of my favorite entertainment stuff. So the first thing is I've been addicted to watching Younger. Younger is a TV show created by Darren Starr, um, executive produced and created for TV. It was originally a book. I discovered the show by watching it on the airplane and then I came home and like I started watching it on Hulu. Obsessed. First of all, the writing is so funny and so good and so witty. I am a huge fan of Sutton Foster. I've been a huge fan of Sutton Foster for like a decade, maybe longer than a decade. I fell in love with her in Thoroughly Modern Millie, the musical. Like a quick synopsis is Sutton Foster is 40 years old, divorced, her daughter's in college, and she's been trying to get back into the workforce. But nobody's hiring her because she's been out of the game for so long and everyone kind of thinks it's weird that she's trying to get back in the game and she's kind of old. And so she gets this idea to, her and her friend get this idea to lie about her age and say she's 26 because she does look really young. So she gets a job in publishing, she starts dating this guy who's 26 and she's trying to balance both her life. It's just really, really good. Um, I love it. I'm on season three right now and I cannot wait because I'm like eating through the episodes. I love the show. Um, everybody in it is really great and more importantly the writing's really good. The second thing is I went and saw War Paint and you should no, I have a weekly vlog coming up this week that shows you more about that musical. But War Paint is on Broadway right now. The stars are Patti Lapone and Christine Ebersole, two legends of Broadway, strong women who are just incredibly talented performers. And the story is about Elizabeth Arden and Helena uh, Rubenstein, who are two 
huge big wigs in the beauty industry they first of all were the only two like female entrepreneurs at the time they were rivals and Elizabeth Arden really changed the way people perceived makeup on women so many of the marketing schemes that they came up with and even like how the F DA started getting involved in cosmetics was really because of this rivalry. It's just a brilliant show and if you love Broadway or if you love musicals or if you're at all interested in beauty, I think it's a show that you guys should definitely try and go see if you're able to on the East Coast and I'm sure they'll probably tour. But Patti Lapone and Christine Ebersole is just pure magic on stage. Finally, I wanted to remind you guys about my blog. I've really been aggressively posting on there because it's my baby. And I actually had started a blog back even before I discovered YouTube, but it was really an online journal. But I just love sharing my life with you guys over on the blog. And there is a newsletter you can sign up for. I send out personalized emails to you guys, updating you on what is going on, ask you questions, get to know you as well. And it's been a really amazing thing because I sent out a newsletter sharing with you guys some of my favorite content that I'd posted in the past month and what giveaways were happening on my channel. Plus, I asked if you guys could give me some advice for travel and I got so much response and I try to respond to everybody once they respond. Just know I read every single one of those response emails and your tips helped me so much and I was so grateful for how many of you guys took the time to respond to me via email. The blog is a really perfect personal space for me and you get to learn a little bit more about me, just how I write. I'm not a writer. I'm not perfect. There is grammar errors, but I hope you guys appreciate it for what it is, which is just an online journal sharing with you guys more about me. So if there's like product swatches and things like that, I share with you guys there as well. If you want to sign up for those newsletters, I will email you directly and then you can respond. And I really love having that open dialogue with you guys. And then of course our podcast behind the beauty, it is doing really, really well. We, last time I checked, we were top 30 on iTunes for beauty and fashion. So if you like podcasts, make sure you go check us out. Everything is always linked in the description box. And I hope to see you guys back here every week for at least three new videos every week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sundays currently. And there will be some bonus uploads because I am like back and ready to film and be in full swing. I just love filming for you guys. If anything, I hope my videos helped motivate and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. If that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found this community. At the end of the day, I just hope my video helped you unwind, de-stress, take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys right back here in my next video. Bye.